Welcome to Watch, React, and Evaluate Class of 24. Today we're taking a look at a young man who was the first sophomore ever to make Mr. Football in the state of Alabama. But before we break down Ryan Williams, here's a quick word from our sponsor. Sports fans are gearing up at Interstate Sports, your home for officially licensed fan gear. We have jerseys, custom frames, team signs, draft tumblers, and more. For every sports fan's needs, visit interstatesportsgifts.com. Ryan Williams is in the class of 2024 now that he has reclassified from the class of 2025. He is a six foot, 155 pound wide receiver, goes to Sarah Land High School in Sarah Land, Alabama. He is a five star according to the On3 Industry Rankings, the number two best player in the state of Alabama, the fourth best wide receiver in the country, and the 11th best player in the nation. Ryan Williams will be playing for Alabama and rolling with the Crimson Tide. He has been committed since 22, so almost over a year already. But he said, I'm going to get that a little bit faster because I reclassified to the class of 24. So to all those Alabama fans out there, go ahead and hit that like, share, and subscribe button and yell out, roll tight while you're doing it. And Ryan Williams, you about to get WRE, my man, Bama style. All right, here we go. Let's get this thing rocking and rolling. Ryan Williams, full season, 30 touchdowns, 2,000 plus all purpose yards. They say he's a ball player, he's dynamic. So we're going to find out right now. All right, them boys already playing in the Crimson Tide. There we go. That must be a state championship game or something. Get this thing going. I love when you start off with special teams, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, he got some good speed in the quarter. Probably run a big track run or something. Got great speed right there. Love it. Get a little screen action. Talk to me. Uh, oh. Oh, come on. Nah. He ain't gonna score on this one. Yeah, baby. This big time right here. And here's what I love about it, right? A lot of people want to question the speed. He literally beat this man by 10 yards. And that's something people have to pay attention to. But here's what I like the most. The agility and ability to make people miss and then hit the gas. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Mr. Football, 2022 as a sophomore. Loving it. Come on with it. What you got for me? Oh, guys, this is what I love as receivers. You always want to teach them. Get on the toes of the guy. Make him make a decision. Right? I love the fact he's attacking his outside shoulder. Look at it. Makes it once he makes his speed turn, gets right back up underneath, it's over with. Safety not helping you out touchdown baby and again right beating this dude by another five yards come on man this dude got something boy and to be a salt what a junior in this tape mm. God, this dude splitting it look at the ability to make people miss man hold on the ability to make this guy miss look at this small space look how tight this is huh holla at you and then split this guy right here holla let's go telling you he got something boy that dog on Nick Saban ain't finished yet huh yeah it's the subtle stuff that makes him good you can tell it's like you don't see it you know typically as fans you won't see what it is that makes him that makes him great but the little subtle things that he does on his tape right now like I said the subtle moves the subtle things look at this these are like the intangibles we talk about just you know, being a football player and playing football is two different things. These dudes out here playing football. He a football player. Hold up, boy. Them boys got the red lights blinking. Huh? I love it. Look at the speed right here. But he finna hit these boy with the red light. Oh, good job right here, man. Not up getting a block in the back. Back in the day, he would have been depleted. But right now, look, you got to put your hands up. But I'm loving this. The red light special, baby. <laughs> in high school, they doing it big time. Let's go. Little drag action. And I'm loving the fact they're showing him do a lot of things. Stretch the field, screens, drags. Uh, come on, y'all. Yeah, see them dudes playing football. He a football player. It's big difference. Was that a punt? Was that a punt? What was that? Oh, yeah, it was a punt. Just sucked. Okay. Couldn't tell what it was. I'm sorry. 
Put the punt of that 10 yards on the bounce. Holla. Holla. Yeah, he dangerous, boy. Yeah, he dangerous, boy. And I don't care what nobody say. You get in the competition, now they showing him finna climb the ladder. Man, come on. Look at this, high point the ball. This dude doing it all, man. Let's go. Come on. Ah. Oh, come on, man. Let's talk about this hitch right quick. Let me get out the way. A lot of people don't understand this. When you run the hitch, all right, and you sit down, a lot of people want to catch this and go inside. What he did was beautiful. Watch this. He's going to catch this. He's going to spin outside. A lot of guys want to spin in here, not knowing here's the trouble, here's second trouble. But once you get outside this guy and, and get outside of him, now it's a foot race between you and his backside safety. Watch this. Holla. Now we got to break it, and he got enough speed and burst to make it happen. That's what I'm talking about. This dude got something, boy. He got something. No drag action. Oh, let's go. See, these are the subtle things. I, I, I talked about this. Watch the subtleness in this, okay? He's gonna widen him out, right, to get back inside. What happens here? You're gonna watch the combination of this route in here that's gonna eat up this safety so he doesn't see him. See, when he's running out like this, this safety thinks, that, oh, he's going away. But watch him come right back inside through here, and he's gonna get preoccupied with this guy coming in front of him. Watch this. This is what I talked about. See the guy coming in front of him, and by the time he sees him, it's too late. Look, it's over with. But he ain't got a chance. Those are the little things that make good players great players. Come on with it. I, I, I got to be honest, dog. This boy got something. Wow. Another little screen deal. And this way you know he has speed. This is where you know he has speed. Watch this. He has the block. Most guys would have taken this and gone back out this way, right? Watch this. Right here, they would have gotten out here. This guy's on block. Watch him hit the gas. Holla at you. <laughs> Holla at you. See you on the other side, player. Come on, not the press coverage, dog. Not the press coverage. Ryan, you better take the top off this cat. Let's go. There it is. It's over with. Throw the ball, quarterback. Don't be playing with it. Look at it. Beat this man by five yards. Y'all better get... Oh, this man... Bro, this man made Mr. Football as a sophomore. This is Junior Tate. And y'all trying to cover him one-on-one? -on -one? Again, subtle stuff. Watch the Hezzy right here. He's going to get this ball and give him a uh -uh, little dead leg. He stops his feet. Now it's a foot race. Watch it. Uh -uh, dead leg, done. I'm telling you, man. Some guys got it, man. Some guys got to work to get it. I'm really enjoying this tape. And they playing Wildcat too? Mm. What are you going to do with it? Huh. Yeah, I was waiting for him to throw the football, bro. I ain't going to be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into this dude ranking. Ryan Williams, I see why them people had to give you Mr. Football as a sophomore. My man, congratulations to you. Let's get into this ranking. Size, gold chip. Six foot, 155. A little bit light for my liking. But I understand in today's football, those slot wide receivers and with the skill set that he has, they come in a little bit light, but they still on par for power five football. Speed, blue chip. Let me tell you this, man. He may not look like he's running fast, but when you beat these people out there on the football field by five, 10 yards, you're doing some speed. Also, your burst, your ability to uh, increase your speed from zero to 100 real quick. Also, your agility, the way that you can make people miss, stick their foot in the ground, and get going again. Excellent. Effort, blue chip. Look here, man, you playing everything out there. I seen you on kick return, punt return, wide receiver, the wildcat quarterback, and the best part about it, the team is on your back, man. Over 30 touchdowns, over 2,000 yards all purpose. What more can you ask for? Fundamentals and technique, blue chip. And I very rarely give out a blue chip, but when I see you running routes, and again, I'm only judging you for what you're going to school as a wide receiver. But bro, the way you like to stem these dudes on defense, the way that you know how to use the field and widen them out to come back, even on that, that rollout pass where you kind of wind them and drug it all the way across. I saw that. I saw it. 
It's the little things that make you great and fundamentally you are sound. Intangibles, blue chip. What else can I say, bro? You have all the things it takes to play this game. Like I said, there are people who play football and then they're football players. I can tell right now that your team trusts you, your coaches trust you, and they're gonna put the ball in your hand as many times as possible. And that's big right there. I also can tell just by the way you play, your teammates follow you. That means you're a leader, my man. Overall, Ryan Williams, you are a blue chip athlete when it comes to Coach Hayes football. It's very rare to get a blue chip on my level, but boy, you got it, my man. I can't wait to see you play for the Crimson Tide. Also, congratulations to you on the academic side for having the ability to reclassify and move upper class, man. So shout out to you, your parents, and the community. So for all those Alabama fans out there, if you're super excited about this dude, I need you to yell out, roll tide, while you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and like button. And Coach Hazel catch you at the 50-yard line. Peace.